Good morning. Have a blessed good Friday sa ating lahat. What we're going to do today is uh, we're gonna be doing bisita iglesia dito lang sa Kuala Lumpur. Uh, just so you know, first time ko magbisita iglesia tapos dito pa sa Malaysia. So I'm very very excited. And we already have our itinerary. So we already have some churches uh, to, to visit. So with that being said, let's go! First stop is Church of St. Anthony in Bukit Pindang. On February 2, 1913, Bishop Barillion blessed the foundation stone of the Church of St. Anthony. The opening and blessing of the new church was done on September 21, 1913 by Father Louis Duvel in recognition of all that he had done for the Indian community in Kuala Lumpur. Although the church building was erected in 1913, the date of establishment of the parish is recorded as 1911 following the official appointment of its first parish priest. St. John's Cathedral, Bukit Nanas. Said as the mother church of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Kuala Lumpur, the first church on a nearby site was established in 1883 and consisted of a long wooden hall with a few windows built on a forest in the area of Bukit Nanas. The current building was built in 1954 and completed in 1955 and consecrated in 1962, when it was also elevated to the status of cathedral. The building is known for its whitewashed exterior and twin spires at the west front. It also includes stained glass windows in Paris depicting scenes from the Gospel. St. Mary's, Merdeka Square. Unfortunately, we were not able to get inside the church due to strict protocol. Church of the Holy Rosary, Halang to Sambatan. Built in 1903, the Holy Rosary Church is not only a historical landmark, but is also an active place of worship. Designed by architect Father L. Lambert, the church was built in the French Gothic Revival style and boasts beautiful stained glass windows. After being extensively renovated prior to its 100-year anniversary, the whitewashed walls and colorful sculptures added to the charm of the historical structure. Besides the church's touristic appeal, Mass is also held here 7 days a week at 7 a.m. on weekdays and 5 p.m. on Saturdays and 8.30 in the morning on Sunday. Our Lady of Fatima Church, Brickfields. Established in 1963 to serve a growing Catholic community in and around Brickfields area, being located close to the KL Central Transportation Hub, many visitors also made this their place of worship while in Kuala Lumpur. So, in po atin naging bisita iglesia, uh, it was all worthy. Kahit medyo mainit, pero masaya, masaya. We're very, very thankful and blessed now we were able to visit those uh, churches. So that's all for today. Peace.